Nuclear Power Plant on Moon by 2026, SPD-6, a step towards Mars by 2030. Nuclear power is being considered for lunar and Mars missions because, unlike alternatives such as solar power, it can provide constant energy, a necessity for human life support systems. Moon can get very cold for many days and Mars can get desert storm for months. Both will block solar light. A lunar human base needs lots of power for things like computers, life support, and to heat up rocks to get out resources like oxygen and hydrogen. The new nuclear power system is part of a NASA project started in 2006, called Fission Surface Power, that is examining small reactors designed for use on other planets. Researchers at NASA and the Department of Energy have tested key technologies for developing a nuclear fission reactor that could power a human outpost on the Moon and eventually on Mars. A fission reactor works by splitting atoms and releasing energy in the form of heat, which is converted into electricity. Small nuclear reactors can provide the power capability necessary for space exploration missions of interest to NASA. The goal is to have a reactor, flight system, and lander ready to go by the end of 2026. What is SPD-6? Space Policy Directive 6, titled the National Strategy for Space Nuclear Power and Propulsion and deemed SPD-6 for short, sets a strategic roadmap for several ambitious aims, including to demonstrate a fission power system on the surface of the Moon by the mid to late 2020s. Do we have atomic energy on Moon currently? Atomic energy has been operating on the Moon since the flight. In November of Apollo 12, astronauts Charles Conrad and Alan Bean, the second pair of men to walk on the surface of the Moon, took with them a nuclear generator and set it in position to provide the electricity to operate scientific instruments and subsystems which are providing continuing information. In his report at the end of 1969, Glenn T. Seaborg, chairman of the U.S. Atomic Energy Commission, was able to report that the generator was successfully withstanding immense temperature variations. The Idaho National Laboratory, a nuclear research facility in eastern Idaho, the Energy Department and NASA will evaluate the ideas for developing the reactor. President-elect Biden expressed support for NASA's work to return Americans to the moon and go beyond to Mars, taking the next step in exploring our solar system. Hashtags Moon 2026, Nuclear Power, Mars 2030 Nuclear Power Plant on Moon by 2026, SPD-6, a step towards Mars by 2030